On the first day of testimony in the murder trial of an accused cop killer, his attorneys are arguing insanity. Good evening. Travis Boyes is accused of fatally shooting New Orleans police officer Daryl Holloway while escaping from the officer's police car. Well, Boyes has not denied the shooting, but his attorneys are trying to prove that he is not guilty by reason of insanity. Mike Perlstein joins us from criminal court. Mike. Hello, Karen. There was extra tried security in court today as testimony began in this high stakes trial. As you may recall, the last time Travis Boyes was in court for trial, the trial was postponed because he began eating his own feces. There was no such disruption this time. The opening witness today was Wardell Johnson, the disgraced former officer who actually arrested Boyes, then turned him over to Holloway to bring to jail. Johnson admitted making a lot of mistakes, including not frisking Boyes for weapons, but also testified that his prisoner showed no signs of mental illness or agitation. Legal experts say getting a not guilty by insanity verdict is extremely difficult. It's almost impossible. I've I can't remember the last time in this building there's been a not guilty by reason of insanity. Um, I've seen the defense wage probably two, three times a year, I would think, um, but I've never seen it be successful. Veteran defense attorney Craig Mordock said getting an insanity verdict in this case will be even more challenging because the victim is a police officer. When you have a, a dead person and a dead victim, extremely, uh, especially a dead police officer, the jury is going to want to hold someone responsible um, and it again arguing over mental state in the course of overwhelming evidence um, is an extreme uphill battle for the defense. Now the trial wrapped up a bit early today but the judge warned the jury that tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be a very long day with the lead homicide detective taking the witness stand. Reporting live from criminal court, Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you.